Intruders detected. Excessive audio input must be kept on master. Initiating the sequence. No problem. Didn't work. Yeah. 
I heard an explosion in there. Did you destroy the assassin droid? Oh well, I guess it's good that the deed is done. Hope you stomped it good for my friends. At any rate, if you haven't already, you might want to go and see Master Uthar about that reward. Prestige is gold, you know. Hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Paul. The runes say that he was interred here, so I, I think it may indeed be possible. Whoever found the sword could gain great prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. No... Oh. These tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Of course. Don't let me keep you from...
Too long, too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Beware of this. This spirit, it may not be what appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid, hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Our Jedi Masters, those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the dark side, yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... Discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came. To hide. To grow. And here we fell. Our temple. Our tomb. Built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It. We were not the first to fall to the dark side. But we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. Our... I cannot, human. It is a secret of so long ago. I no longer remember. You who bristle with the Force. You must find this place. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, so many images. 
I see your heart, human Jedi. I see your power, your pride. You, you will find the old place, the dark place, and you will regret it. So much power, it is blinding. I, I remember so little. We hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? So much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned nothing. Nothing. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now, a corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright, hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue.
I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a Junta Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. I insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. See? I knew you and I could work this out. I imagine I'll be rewarded well for this. You'll do fine, I'm sure. Another time. You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Oh, well, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. The tomb on the far left, there, it's off limits. Only Master Here! 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 
I have been watching you for some time. I have been thinking of how far I had fallen, and how you exemplify the code of the Jedi. I find myself ashamed. That I, for my pride, my hubris, for the inner rage that all of my species feels, sometimes I wish that I had not been born this way. I am sorry. I start to talk, thinking about how you stay strong to the path of virtue and justice, and I find myself whining again about my own inadequacies. The Council would be proud to see that you had learned your lessons so well. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters. Ah, oh, 
four years. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miku. Say hello, Miku. <coughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. That's good. It's nice to still be the topic of discussion occasionally. Maybe there's a class on me. Maybe not. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. I'll even pass on to my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying two lacks too. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing. But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper sin. Why then go free? Tell you, they're based on. Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. I get too many wrong, and you die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see, Miko, it's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no! Bad idea, bad idea! At any rate, here is your punishment. Let's see. Ah, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. 
Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. I mean, share it? Are you mad? Well, you did ask for this. It's for your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him, or give him another chance? Ah, Miko. Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemy? It's a trick question. A true Sith never dies. <laughs> I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. What to do, what to do. I suppose this means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do. Friend here. Run along now. Well, I could use the force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll. That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! I guess he wasn't a true Sith after all. I can't believe that I'm alive. You saved me. You could have easily just answered those questions and let me die. Yes. Well, I see what you mean. I've never... I mean, I've never been on that side of the fence before. It makes you think. I'd be dead if you weren't... I mean... If you were proper Sith. But you're not, are you? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Well, you can have those writings he mentioned. I won't fight you for them. Master Uthar will be very pleased if you give them to him, you know. I don't suppose the fact that he's weak as a newborn Kithbop has anything to do with his decision. I'll head back to the Academy. I need some rest. Didn't work. <laughs> no problem.
didn't work. The tombs are full of traps and droids that still work, it looks like. Stay out of if you can. Beware of the Tukata. Ah, what is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, but what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. <laughs> do not forget our agreement regarding Euthura's treachery. We shall put her in her place. Ah, finally, the genuine sword. I knew that this relic would be unearthed in time. I can feel the power flowing through it. We should have kept that. It could have made a... Well done. You have impressed me greatly. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Yes, so I hear. I've had reports from some students that ventured into the tomb after you left and found the parts. Well done. I am impressed. You have rid us of a potential nuisance. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. Thank <laughs> you.